One of the big challenges we have in our society nowadays is that over 30% of the energy we use in Canada is for transportation only. To move people around, to move products around. All the energy comes from fossil fuels, from burning gasoline. Fuel cells is one of the technologies that has the potential to be able to replace our internal combustion engines. The way a fuel cell works is actually very simple. In our case is hydrogen, which is the fuel, and then air, which is our reactant. The fuel comes in, it breaks into electrons and protons in this case, and then we can harvest all these electrons, take them to an electric motor to produce work, and then send them back to the other side of the cell where the electrons combine with the protons and the oxygen in air to produce water. So the only byproduct of the cell is water vapor that would come out of the vehicle. The cost of the engine is still very expensive. Platinum is one of the most expensive components of the fuel cell, and one of the things we're doing in our lab is trying to reduce the amount of platinum. The other problem will be producing the hydrogen. Hydrogen is not a source of energy, you have to manufacture it. The same technology that you use in a fuel cell can be used for making hydrogen from water. His group is especially strong in developing new tools to simulate the behavior of our fuel cells by inputting very, very basic microscopic properties of the materials. They come up with a lot of problems that sometimes we haven't even seen before. So it's always this challenging, this fountain of challenges that comes to us. Sometimes we think we got it all figured it out. We have these equations that seem to work. We do our tests, everything is working fine. And then all of a sudden, those models that were working so well for us, under the conditions we were using, they start to fail. They bring all these questions to us, like, well, you already had this model, it's not working under these operating conditions. It's a motivator for us to go and explore new areas. One of the main reasons I like to work with industry is uh, our research is used where it matters, right? If we can bring the cost of these fuel cells down, maybe we can come up with a vehicle so that you don't have to trade off any of the convenience of the cars that we have in the road today. And yet we can power the car with something like hydrogen where we would have no environmental footprint.